today we are at Prairie Rose Wind Farm doing a main shaft replacement on turbine H14. We are utilizing our LT1200 self-hoisting crane that is owned by Enel to do so. To do the same job with a traditional crane, we'd need to bring in a 650 ton crane and 14 to 16 trucks. It's much more friendly to the farmers here. Um, we don't have to bring any large crane. We don't have near the crop damage at the base of the turbine. Here in Minnesota, we have frost laws, so it's easier to bring that crane in in the spring because of our road restrictions. And they can uh, put it up themselves, up tower, build it themselves, the technicians. It's a game changer when you get into hills and you get into the mountain regions and everything like that where it's, it's a pain to get a, a full-size crane up there. The ground disturbance is minimal. The wind variances are higher than traditional. It's more on the manpower than the cost of, of the equipment now, where you have only one machine able to do the job. You don't have to have multiple tractors, multiple trailers, and then a two operator setup. You just come and park the crane and set it. The aspect of the job is a lot faster turnarounds because the higher wind, it helps out quite a bit. love it. You get to work with new equipment, get to see all the cool stuff, and it's just evolving. Farmers like it, I think, because for one, it's new. They come out on site and they're like, man, what is that? And they like the concept. They hope that it sticks around because of less crop damage and stuff like that. I've been working for now about eight months now with the large corrective team, Lifter Aside. I really enjoy the company, the growth of it, and the green energy is just because it's evolving. The wind's never really gonna stop blowing. 